Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. This is another video for Studio One Prime, the free DAW from Personas, and I have been asked this question many times. And the question is, once I have recorded all my tracks for my song and I can listen to it, how do I export it into an MP3? Well, the first thing I should mention is that um, Studio One Prime does not export in MP3 format. It exports in WAV format, which is much, much better than MP3. So we, I'm going to show you how I'm going to export it to WAV format, which I can also burn into a CD or do, put it into distribution to iTunes and, let's say, Spotify and so on. And then I'm going to show you how to convert it into MP3 using Audacity. But first, let me show you how I'm going to convert this demo song that I'm working on into a um, WAV file. So as you can see on the screen, I have my, all my tracks. And this is all um, pretty much recorded and arranged in Prime, um, not the professional version. So everything is as you hear. And uh, there's uh, just channel strip that's been used in most cases. And let's have a quick listen to the song, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to export the complete song. Okay, so you can hear the song. There's a few things that you have to make sure you've got them right before exporting. One thing you need to watch out for, and the important one, is to make sure that your master bus, the main bus, is not clipping. Because in Prime, we also don't have a limiter unless you purchase the add-on feature. That means you need to really keep an eye out so it doesn't clip. Because if it does clip, it's distorted. you got to bring your volumes down again to a certain level. Now, I usually keep an eye out about here, making sure that it doesn't go above minus 3 dB. We're going to increase those volumes later on when we are converting in Audacity. But when we are exporting as wave, that's one of the main things we're going to make sure that it doesn't go over minus 3 dB at its highest point. So listen, the complete song, make sure that the levels are right. The next thing we need to look out for is our start and end markers. And we can see at the beginning here, we have the start. And then at the end, we have our end marker. Because when we are exporting, we want to tell Studio One Prime the length of the song we want to export by using the markers start and end. The markers are available right here under this flag. So if you don't see them, you can click and they will show up. And you can add markers as well, of course, um, during your production, if you like. Let's say if you want to say uh, bar number 17 is I want to put a marker because you can use your keyboard or your fader port to actually quickly find certain locations in the song. So you can quickly go to that point and do maybe punch in and punch out or, or record something from that point on and so on. They're really, really helpful. So now that we've got our output level correct and our start and end markers set, we are ready to export. So to export, we basically go to Song and Export Mix Down. And we have our Export Mix Down dialog. Here we can actually select where we want our file to be exported to. I'm just going to select the desktop so that it's easier to find. And the file name, 
I'm going to put the name of the song, Lonely Road Mixed Down. I'm going to select a WAV file. There are other options like AIFF or FLAC and OG Vorbis as well um, and KEF file. OG Vorbis is another great alternative, small file size similar to MP3 but higher quality of audio. But I'm going to leave it as a WAV file with 16 bit and 44.1 kilohertz. This way, if I want to burn into a CD to listen into my, in my car, it's automatically set the right bit rate and the sample rate as well. So we want to export. We can export obviously between the loop if we have set a loop. But what we want to do is between song start and end markers. Also, as I've demonstrated how you can put markers, you can actually export between each marker as well. This way, if you have a same project with multiple songs recorded one after each other, like a live performance, you can ex put markers and you will actually export them separately or between markers as well. So those are the options. The output as the main and not the headphone output, like set in this example. You can bypass the master effects, but uh, I'm going to leave them on because I just have a channel strip there, just to compression a little bit. Real-time processing allows you to actually listen while it's exporting. It's not really necessary. And you can write the tempo to the audio file if you like. And close it and it's done. So I'm just going to click OK and it should export the song for me in WAV format. And once the export is complete, we already have our ex Windows Explorer open up and showing us where the song is as a WAV file. If you saved it somewhere else, then it will open up that folder as well. So I'm just going to close down my project and I'm just going to double click and have a quick listen using Windows Media. Okay, so it works fine on my Windows Media Player and that means um, I can burn that into a DVD and a CD, I guess, or DVD and have a listen to it um, at home or in my car or give it to friends and so on. But we want to actually make it louder and add some limiter so we can get, you know, fight the loudness war. <laughs> so I'm going to do that in Audacity and at the same time convert it into MP3 as well. So I'm just going to run Audacity, the latest version. And just going to drag the file into it. Yeah, make a copy, safer, I guess. And now my song is loaded. So let's have a quick listen in Audacity as well. Yep, it all works. Of course, you can go ahead and do EQing and to correct it even further if you like. But in this example, I'm just going to put a limiter and increase the volume because as you can see, there's quite a bit of dynamic range from the song. So just going to go to effects and I'm just going to find limiter. And there we go. Of course, I've got to select it first, Control A, I select, and then I go to it again, Effect, Limiter. I'm going to select Soft Limit, because I just want to softly uh, compress it down. Limit to, I guess, about minus 0 0.8 dB. And just do a makeup gain, have a quick preview yep 
Yeah, we can certainly uh, push those levels up. Let's push it about 3 dB for left and right. And I'm just monitoring my levels at the top. Yep, we can certainly push it a little bit more. And I'm just going to push maybe 6, yeah, 6 dB. We can push it. It can handle it. I'm pretty sure Audacity um, Soft Limiter can handle it. Yep, that's uh, definitely sounding a bit louder. Not necessarily better, just louder. And I'm just going to click OK. Now, that looks loud as well to me. So let's have a listen. Uh, let's have a listen from somewhere else. Okay, so that's definitely louder. So we can save this as a WAV file as well and burn this into our CDs so we can listen them loud in our cars and our homes. But to export into MP3, just going to click File, Export as MP3. And just going to go to the desktop again. Lonely Road, MP3. Bitrate preset, I guess that should be fine. Normally constant at 320 is a good one. And save. Right, here is the thing. I have not actually downloaded the encoder software called LAME, L-A-M-E. So if you are confronted with this situation, and you cannot, obviously cannot find it, there's a button called Download. So I'm going to click the Download and see where it will take me. Installation section. Lame Download page. Lame Installer package. Just going to follow that. Gonna download to the desktop again. It's quite a small file. So as you can see, we are actually doing this all together. Well, I guess that is done. So I'm just gonna minimize that. I'm just gonna try. Again, okay, so it came back again. So let's give it a try again. Ah, there we go. So it already installed. Next time around, it recognized it. I'm just going to leave everything as is. You can um, name them as you like. And it's being exported into an MP3. And there we have it. It's right there. Lonely Road, it's only 6.5 megabytes. Now that's the MP3 and obviously also loud, uh, made it louder. This is the original. Now that was the original from export from Studio One Prime, and this is MP3. At the top, really loud over it. When I know you miss a bar, my life before. Keep telling me you may hope for a lie. Of 
Well, there we go. That is loud, but still clear. That's only because we allowed at least um, 0.8 dB lower than the 0 dB clipping. So gives a chance for the encoder to encode clearly with MP3. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please make sure you give me the thumbs up. And if you have any questions, I will hang up below and I will answer any questions that you might have in regards to exporting your song from Studio One Prime, importing it into Audacity, making it louder and converting it to MP3. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.